Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys didn't already know me. And today I'm gonna to be sharing some makeup tips for sorority recruitment. This video is actually in a whole series of hashtag how to sorority videos. And if you guys didn't know, I actually vlogged my whole entire sorority recruitment last year when I was actually going through it myself. So I made a whole playlist of all these videos just so you guys can binge watch them. So I will leave the link to that playlist down below. I know a lot of people worry about their makeup during sorority recruitment, mainly because of the heat. I went through recruitment in Orlando and it was so humid. I curled my hair almost every day and then it would just like drop to like straight, weird, wavy waves and it was just not cute. You definitely have to test out like your makeup and your hair and everything a little before you go through recruitment just so you know what you're working with. So I wrote down some tips that I came up with to share with you guys, so let's get into it. This is going to be like really scattered. I hope you guys don't mind, but I just have my notes kind of scattered, so yeah. Okay, you guys do not have to purchase all these makeup products that I'm mentioning. You can always find dupes on Pinterest or just get other products that are similar, but I'm going to recommend some products and they might be a little pricier. So if you're looking to get new makeup, this is the perfect time to splurge on some really good products that you can use throughout college. My first one is to use setting spray. You don't have to use the Urban Decay one because that is a little pricier, but there are drugstore ones. NYX has one and I recommend getting the matte one. Next, I really recommend you guys trying out the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I talk about it in like almost all of my makeup videos. It's what I bake with. And honestly, last week I went biking with like makeup because I was in like a really cool area and I wanted to take some pictures. And I baked that day with the translucent powder and I was like sweating all over but my face, like, it looked so matte. If you feel it, it's gonna feel like, kind of like that silk powder type feeling. It just like feels so smooth and like perfect and it gives you a flawless finish. I did hear that the RCM one was a really good dupe for it. I have not tried it out myself, which I am planning on getting that one after this Laura Mercier powder runs out. So for eyeshadow, I really only recommend doing a really simple look, not much dark colors, just keep it like really simple, matte, and like maybe warm tones. So I would just recommend maybe putting like a really light brown on the crease and then on the lid, maybe putting like a beige or like even your skin color would look good. Or if you wanna have a little bit of shimmer, I would recommend putting gold shimmer. My next one goes along with that. I would recommend not wearing silver eyeshadow. I feel like it doesn't look natural at all. So like I said, just wear like a beige or your skin tone. So I know all of my makeup lovers out there will probably want to wear false lashes that week, which obviously you can. Everything I say in this video is just recommendations. So, you know, do what you want. But I I feel like false lashes are gonna be kind of uncomfortable because these are gonna be super long days. I'm talking about seven in the morning till maybe like five at night or seven at night. Some people even stay like till nine and like 12 on prep day. So you do not wanna be uncomfortable the whole day because that's not gonna be fun. <laughs> maybe if you do like the look of false lashes but you don't wanna go through putting them on every single morning, you can just go to Ulta and get the singles put on because those kinda last like a while. You might wanna consider wearing waterproof mascara because first of all, you're gonna be sweating. So if like sweat rolls down your face and then just mascara comes with it, I don't, okay, I don't know. That could be dramatic. But in the summer, Orlando rains like almost every day. So I did not wanna like walk through the rain and like have my mascara dripping down my face walking into the next house. So check the weather and if it is gonna be raining or if it's very humid outside. Next, I kinda wanna talk about eyebrows. Everyone has their awkward stages of eyebrows. Hopefully I'm past mine, but sometimes I still have bad eyebrow days. So First of all, I recommend getting them done before recruitment. Sometimes I see eyebrows that are really boxy on the front. A little trick is to make the ends darker and then just start doing light strokes in the front. So it won't look boxy and it will look really natural. I actually started using dip brow on the ends and brow whiz in the front and it really helps me achieve that perfect brow. If you guys want an updated brow routine, let me know in the comments down below because it's kind of the same but I do want to share with you guys some new tricks that I learned. Next, I would carry around like a refreshing face mist. I use the Shiseido Quick Fix Mist. I really feel like I mentioned this product in like almost every one of my videos lately. Right before you go into a house, you can just spray it on, fan yourself down, and your makeup is gonna look so refreshed and you will feel a lot better and not as sweaty. I know everyone wants to have their highlighter on fleek, but I really recommend just staying all the way on the matte 
side. I do not recommend any highlighter whatsoever because I feel like you guys are gonna regret it once you have to walk to house to house to house and it's gonna be so humid and hot, so you're probably just gonna sweat it all off anyways. So it's always best to stay on the matte side. If you do wanna do highlighter, just don't put it on your nose because I feel like that looks the most oily and up here. So just kind of like focus it right over here and that should satisfy your highlighter fix. But if you can't hold off on it, I would. This is kind of an obvious one, but I would stick to a nude lip or a brownish lip. Just don't do like any like hot pinks or like reds. One time I wore a red lip to homecoming and I immediately regretted it the next day because I don't know, it just like was too much. Sometimes less is more, especially for big events like sorority recruitment, so it's best to look as natural as possible. You might be looking for a new foundation because you just got that summer tan and want to match your face. I recommend looking for foundations that are first of all matte, and second of all, don't have SPF in them. That kind of sounds weird because obviously you're gonna be in the sun a little bit, but I feel like SPF just makes it a little bit more oily. The last tip I have for you guys is to get a face moisturizer that is gel based. This will help with like the oiliness and just keep it all matte. So that's all the makeup tips I have for sorority recruitment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have any video requests then leave them down below, especially for my how-to sorority series. I think I'm going to do two other videos but if there's any other like specific ones that you guys want to see then let me know. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!